Are you looking to create a calendar where people can book appointments on your WordPress website? By using the WordPress plugin Booked, you can create as many booking calendars as you would like and have booking features that help you run your business. My name is Daniel from Novato Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create a booking calendar that your customers can use with the Booked plugin. I'll go over the most important features of the Booked plugin so you can start filling up bookings for your business in no time. You can grab this awesome booking plugin on the popular marketplace Code Canyon. Code Canyon has an extensive library of the best booking WordPress plugins ever created. Not only can you get these booking plugins from Code Canyon, but you can also find a massive library of over 7,000 premium WordPress plugins that are sure to take your site to the next level. Also be sure to subscribe to the Envato Touch Plus YouTube channel to learn more about how premium WordPress plugins can help you improve your website. So let's get into how we can set up our calendar and booking functions. For our example, we're going to be a yoga studio that offers classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we're going to create a calendar that allows users to book appointments on these specific dates. Now, this is just the example we're going to use for this tutorial, but you can use this booking plugin for however you'd like for your business. So once you have installed the booked plugin, head on over to appointments. And first we're going to adjust the settings, which is going to set up our default calendar. So now we'll adjust the general settings here. And the first setting we'll adjust is the booking type. And we'll change this to guest booking. And this will allow anyone to come onto our website and book a yoga class. And we'll leave the require name only here in the next option. And then we'll tick the require email address. And for all the guests that aren't logged into our website, they'll need to include an email address about their booked appointment. And we'll go over this later in the tutorial. And next we'll go over the prevent appointments before date. And we'll go ahead and choose the 24th as this is a Sunday and today is the 19th. And we don't want to start offering bookings for our classes until the week of the 25th. So we'll go ahead and click the 24th here. And then next we'll scroll down and change the appointment limit. And this will prevent users from booking too many appointments. And we'll set this limit to two. So we're just going over a few options here. There are plenty of options in this plugin to be explored. We're just going over the most important ones that work for our yoga class here. So be sure to experiment and find out which different settings work for your particular business. And then next we'll set the new appointment default to set it to approve immediately as we don't want them to be pending. Once they do book an appointment, we want it to be instant. As soon as they input the information, they're booked. And then lastly, for this general tab, we'll change the display options. We'll click the hide weekends in the calendar. As again, we only offer classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So there's no point in having those on the calendar. And then we'll take the public appointments, which shows the names under the booked appointments. That way others can see who has booked an appointment. And then we'll go on over to time slots. And here we can add in our various time slots. So we're going to be offering yoga classes again on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we'll offer them nine to 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock and 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. So we'll just add these in for each day, the add time slots, and then we'll set the available spaces. And our yoga class has 15 spaces available. And this first class here is flow yoga. Add time slot, add our second time slot. And that will be from 10 a.m. to 11. And same 15 spaces available. This will also be flow yoga. And then our final class runs from 11 to 12. And this will be yin yoga. We'll change the title. And again, 15 spaces available and add time slots. So again, these are the three classes that will be happening on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll just go ahead and fill out the Wednesday and Friday columns. Okay, so we have our time slots added. And what this will do is it'll appear on our calendar every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we don't have to manually update this for every week. It'll just automatically be on our calendar and be available to be booked each of these three days. Next, we'll go to custom time slots. Now there'll usually be certain times where you won't be able to give a class or you have a special day where you're giving classes. So you can go ahead and break up that automatic time slot by using the custom time slots. So we're going to have a special class in February that runs from two to three o'clock on a Thursday. Go ahead into our single time slot here 
You can also add bulk time slots, the single time slot. We'll title it Yin Yoga. Start time will be 2 p.m. And time 3 p.m. And this will have less spaces available. It only have 10. Go ahead and change the start date here. February is a Thursday. Fourth, we can also change the end time. But if we had an event that lasted longer, we can go ahead and expand that out here. We can also disable appointments for specific dates as well if we wanted to. So if you're going on vacation or just aren't offering a certain bookings at this time, you can go ahead and click that option. So we'll click Save Custom Time Slots. And then we'll just go ahead and click the Add button. Click OK. And now our custom time slot is added. Next, we'll go to the Emails tab. And this is all the different customer emails that are sent out. As we scroll down, we can see we have the customer appointment reminder email, user registration, appointment confirmation, appointment approval. And with each of these, we'll go ahead and get attributes that we can add to our email. And these attributes automatically display the specific information that pertains to the booking that the user decided to select. And then we have the email subject and the body of the email for each of the emails on this page. So you can see we have the header here for the appointment approval for the subject, your appointment has been approved. And then since we require the first name, we'll be able to address them in the email. And here's the attribute name. Again, the attribute is up here and it gives you a description for what it displays in the email. So you can customize these however you would like. And then finally, if you wanna add a logo to these emails, you can go ahead and click the settings and then click upload logo. And we'll go ahead and choose our yoga logo, go down to insert into post, and this logo will be on the header. So now that we have our yoga booking calendar all set, it's time to add this to our website. As with most WordPress plugins, to add certain features or just the functionality of the plugin, we use short codes. And these short codes can just be added to any page or post. So we'll click the tab short codes here. And since we edited the default calendar, we'll choose this short code. And we'll create a new page. We'll call it Yoga Bookings. And in the main block, we'll add in our shortcode. And then click Publish. And we'll view the page. So here is our little calendar that can be booked. So again, we're starting on the 25th. Today's the 20th. We blocked out this week. And we can see there are 45 spaces available. And with just our three days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, go to February here, we can see that extra day on Thursday was added as well. So if we click on the day, we can go ahead and book our appointment. It gives the title, the time, you can book your appointment. And if you're logged into the website, you can just click the book appointment and all the emails will be sent to the email that you input when registering. And if you're a guest on the website and don't have an account, it'll ask for your email and first name before you can click this book appointment button. So you can see this is the same menu for all of these. And here's our three classes. Here's the spaces available down below. So let's go ahead and book one here. Book the appointment. And then you can see our username. That's us. And this is booked. And one space is taken off here. So there's now 14 spaces available. So it's important to note that we can also create more calendars. We are not just tied to this default calendar. So if you had multiple bookings for your business, different types of classes, events, you can go ahead and create a new calendar that will allow you to add in different bookings. And to do that, you just click on the calendars tab, name it, you can add a description, a slug, and then just click the add new custom calendar. And you can go ahead and edit this calendar however you see fit and add in the specific dates and the specific settings. So you can see by adjusting just a few settings, you can create a booking calendar that is easy to use for your website visitors. You can also see that this booking calendar can be used for all different types of businesses and will make the booking process much easier and allow you to get back to running your business. Thank you so much for checking out the video, everyone. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more WordPress tutorials, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new videos we post. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.